Hi again, everybody. In this video, we're going to be talking about multiplying by a binomial. We already talked about how a monomial means it has one term. A polynomial means that it has many terms, but a binomial means that it has two terms. So something like this, 2x plus 6, is a binomial because it has two terms, the 2x and then the plus 6. When we multiply by binomials, we need to make sure that we're distributing everything in these first parentheses to everything in the second parentheses. So the way that I like to do this is using something called the box or the window method. The first thing I'm gonna do is draw a little two by two box. And I'm gonna label it with my first binomial across the top, two x plus six and my second binomial down the side, 4x minus three. This window makes sure that I multiply every piece of my first binomial by every piece of my second binomial. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply 4x by 2x. Just like I did in the last station, I'm gonna multiply my coefficients first. Four times two would give me eight, and x times x can be simplified to x squared. So notice how I multiplied these two pieces and filled in the correct box. Now I'm going to move to the next section and multiply 4x by the positive 6, a different pair this time. 4 times 6 is 24. There's only an x on the 4, so I leave it as 24 multiplied by x, or 24x. Now I have multiplied my 4x by 2x and by the positive 6. I'm going to repeat the process down below. So this time I have negative 3 times 2x. Negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6. And since there's an x with the 2, it needs to be negative 6x. And finally, I'm going to finish it out with negative 3 times positive 6, a 3 and a 6 just multiplied together gives me negative 18. So I've multiplied both pieces of my first binomial by both pieces of my second binomial. And so far, I have an equation, or a polynomial, I'm sorry, that says 8x squared plus 24x minus 6x minus 18. Now this is a nice answer, but it's not fully simplified because I see that I have a positive 24x and a minus 6x that can be combined. So my final answer is 8x squared plus 18x, 24 minus 6, minus 18. This polynomial is my final solution because it's been fully multiplied and fully simplified. So 8x squared plus 18x minus 18 is my final answer. All right, this is the binomial times a binomial that's on your worksheet, so let's set this one up together. I'm going to set up my window first, and I'm going to put one binomial on each side. So I have 3x plus 1, and I have 2x plus so set this up on your paper and pause the video right here and see if you can fill in the four pieces of that window. All right, so at this point, hopefully you've returned after multiplying. I'm going to fill in each piece one step at a time. So first off, I have 3x times 2x. 3 times 2 is 6. x times x is x squared. So 6x squared. Next, I have 3x times 5. 3 times 5 is 15 with an x. Moving down to my bottom row, I have 2x times 1, which is just going to leave me with 2x. And finally, to wrap it all up, I have a 5 times a 1. 5 times 1, positive 5, positive 1. My answer is positive 5. Now at this point in the problem, before I write my final polynomial, I can notice that these two terms on the diagonal are the ones that I can combine. So I have a positive 2x and a positive 15x. I can combine those when I write my final answer. 
So my final polynomial would be 6x squared, 15 and 2 combined would be 17x, and then I would finish with a plus 5. So 6x squared plus 17x plus 5 is my final polynomial. Now this process, this box method or window method, will always work no matter how many terms you have. So we want to try one that's just a little more complicated to make sure that you can use this strategy no matter how many terms there are. So in this problem, we're taking a polynomial with three terms and multiplying it by a binomial with two terms. Instead of setting up that two by two square like I did before, this one is going to be more of a rectangle because I have something with three terms and something with two terms. In this case, I'm going to set up my polynomial on top. x squared plus 3x plus 9. And then down the side of my box, I'm going to have 2x and my plus 7. Now the process is the same. I'm still going to multiply each piece of my binomial by each piece of my polynomial. So to fill in the boxes, it's the same process. I have, oh, sorry, that was not a highlighter and I thought it was. I have x squared times 2x, that would give me 2x to the third power. x times x is x squared multiplied by another x, so x to the third power. I'm going to continue the same way. So now I'm going to multiply my positive 3x by 2x. 3 times 2 is 6. x times x is x squared. And finally, at the end of my polynomial, I have to multiply by a positive 9. So 2x times positive 9, 2 times 9 is 18, and I have to make sure that I remember the x. So now I've multiplied my 2x by each piece of that polynomial. Now I'm going to repeat the whole process, but multiply by 7 this time. So this time I have x squared times a positive 7. That's going to give me 7x squared. Next up, I have 3x times that 7. So 3 times 7 would give me 21 with an x. And finally, to wrap the whole thing up, I have a positive 9. Oh, I forgot to switch to my highlighter again. I have my positive 9, and I'm multiplying it by a positive 7. So I'm going to multiply 7 times 9, and I'm going to get 63. You can use your calculator at any point in this. So if you're not sure what one of these multiplications are, you can always go back and use your calculator to check. All right, now let's get this final answer all ready to go. So I have all my pieces now. Now I need to put them together. Remember, if I look on the diagonals, I can find terms that I can combine. In this case, I have two sets of terms that can be combined in my final answer. So I'm going to start at the top corner. I have 2x to the third power. Next, I'm going to use my x squared. So a 7 and a 6 would give me a positive 13x squared. Next up, I have 21 and 18. Both of those x terms I can combine. Positive 39x. And finally, we add on the 63 at the end. So your final answer should be 2x to the third plus 13x squared plus 39x plus 63. Don't be scared of these polynomials. All that you need to do is make sure that your box multiplies each piece of the first polynomial by each piece of whatever it's being multiplied by. If you need help on your practice, please make sure you stop and ask a teacher. Don't get stuck. If you need more practice, they are happy to help. All right, head to your practice sheet and get started.